Many students get bogged down on the topic of topics. What are you supposed to write that thousand word essay on exactly? To make matters worse, teachers often give vague guidance. This is because they want you to think. Some of the things you need to think about are the type of writing you're being asked to do, what the requirements of the paper are, and what interests you. The type of writing is the first thing to examine. Are you writing fiction, nonfiction, history, debate, compare and contrast, argument, or one of a hundred other possibilities? Understanding your basic objective is the first step in any project. Obviously, some topics are better than others for different types of assignments. In the end, though, most college writing boils down to explaining or informing. Your job really is just to write in a way that lets the professor know you understand the material. The name expository comes from the idea that it is writing that exposes facts. Once you realize that your writing is primarily going to be about explaining something, you can automatically narrow your topics down to things that can be explained. Yes, you may have a creative writing class, but that professor will be teaching you what to do. In the rest of the classes, the professors assume you already know how to write a research paper. Actually, you do, since you watched all these videos and asked a librarian for help, right? The requirements are your next step. You may have specific research guidelines. Are you required to use newspapers, medical journals, legal findings, primary sources, public records, images, videos, music, or something else? Often, just opening a general source within the requirements will help you see what possibilities exist. Figuring out what interests you is a little harder than it sounds. The best thing about college is that you're getting exposed to so many new ideas and topics. The world is fascinating and you are opening up to it. You bump into interesting stuff every day. There's also the probability that you have not found the most interesting things yet. One solution is to do general searches in the internet. A general idea will take you to more specific topics you need for a paper. Take advantage of the tabs that are at the bottom of a Google search. These are things like the images and the videos. And then also be sure you check the More button for things like books. The Tools tab lets you decide how current the articles can be. Currency of articles may be specified in the instructions. So the next question is what to look for. Start with the instructions and the professor's list. Instructions are the most important part. This goes back to the type of material and gives you an idea where to look. The professor may provide a list of ideas. Remember, these are suggestions. Look at those as ideas only. You may not be familiar with most of the topics, but one point of the paper is to learn something new. Explore anything that catches your eye on Wikipedia to get overview information. Most important, unless the professor specifies it, you're not limited to items on the list. Your professor gets tired of reading the same old topics all the time, and the prof is more likely to know the minute details you could get wrong. Using a new topic teaches you both and makes it less likely you'll get called out for missed facts. Always be sure you know what your professor has in mind, and remember it's okay to ask for confirmation on your topic idea. If you need any help, check with a librarian.